Hi, in this video we're going to discuss options for static code analysis, um, tools you can use to scan for best practices and security violations in your code, and how we can work within Flowsum and use it as a quality gate if you wish to or just for informational purposes. We integrate with many different packages out there. I'm going to show you today Apex PMD is an open source project that Salesforce contributes many, many best practices and security rules to. Um, I'll show you how you can also upload your own custom set of rules if you want to have a uh, custom naming conventions or if you have any specific security rules that aren't covered by what is in the um, one provided by Salesforce, you can do that. If you are wanting to start enforcing code quality, this is an optional solution that can be used two ways. It can be used either as informational only, so when I'm first starting out, I can just find what issues there are and I can still deploy my code but if I want to start enforcing them I can make this a quality gate and if any issues are found it will prevent this from being deployed so every time you add a piece of code or a component to this particular branch it will be scanned by the rule sets you select and I'll show you that in a moment how it's configured it will then come back and it will show you what it finds for issues so you can see we give you a high over level of what we find you can then go in and see the actual report. And you can see the actual details in here. So for example, naming conventions. Um, you know, we're not we're not doing some sanit some sanitizing on URLs. Uh, again, all the different issues you'll see in here, and you'll be able to see exactly where they are position wise and be able to address those uh, very, very simply. So how we determine what the rule sets are, you enter the settings document in the Flowsome solution. You go to our code quality tab. And the first thing you do is decide what do I want to review? So class, triggers, pages. Then you can go in and determine what rules you want to run. You can run every rule set that is provided or you can select specific rule sets. So if I want to do you know a subset of those I can go in and see you know the error and I can select multiple of these and add those and so forth so I can go through back and forth and select all these different rule sets I want so I can customize exactly what I'm scanning now if I want to have a custom rule set whether I combine bits and pieces of these into one and then I add my additional naming conventions I can do that and I can upload that rule set here and we'll use that to do the scanning so again Use existing rules, customize to the rules you want, so you really can tailor this to your environment. So when you get down to those actual scanning, it's looking for exactly what you want to promote for code quality and security in your environment as a step in making sure only quality code and no errors are pushed out to your production orgs. Thank you.